My name is Lucina Stricco. I'm with Volt Cooperative, and I'm here with my colleagues, uh, specifically Denver Williams, who is the co-founder of the CNCFCI initiative. So this session is 35 minutes. In this session, I'll introduce you to the folks working on the CNCFCI dashboard, an intro to the initiative, including some goals, key features, roadmap, and an overview of the technologies used. About midway through, we'll have plenty of time for questions and answers. So a little bit about Vault Cooperative. We are a software cooperative in business since 2013. Uh, we are based out of Austin, Texas, and have folks working with us from all around the world. And in Austin, Texas, we uh, lead two meetups, Austin Software Cooperatives Meetup and the Open Source Axes, Axe Throwing Meetup. Here's part of the team in Copenhagen at KubeCon EU. Pictured, we've got Taylor, Watson, Denver, and myself. And not pictured, we've got Ashley, Will, Josh, and Robert also on the team. So at a glance, this is CNCFCI. The project consists of a CI testing system, a status repository, and that user-facing dashboard. The CI testing system can use existing build status from a project CI system like Travis CI or even GitHub Actions, and it can generate its own build status and artifacts. We validate the build and deployment status of each project on Kubernetes stable and head on x86 and ARM architectures on packet servers. The status repo collects the results and then the dashboard displays them. Some of the goals include complementing the CNCF landscape, which helps enterprises get started on their cloud native journey. And we hope that this dashboard shows graduated and incubating projects in action. We also like to promote CNCF hosted graduated and incubating projects to attract more projects to CNCF. And on the dashboard, we demonstrate the use of cloud-native technologies on multiple test environment configurations. By collaborating with the project maintainers to add and maintain projects, we hope to contribute to a scalable project ecosystem. And the visible dashboard can facilitate conversation, and we welcome feedback from the community. And finally, uh, the dashboard provides a vendor unbiased validation of build, deploy, and end-to-end -end tests for projects. And it's available as a program management service for CNCF hosted projects. The dashboard displays graduated and incubating projects, including eight graduated and 15 incubating, ideally. And we also show the ONAP SO project V1 Amsterdam release. ONAP V1 was added at Open Networking Summit in Los Angeles. And since then, ONAP has significantly improved their deployment with Kubernetes in their latest releases. The CNCFCI team was able to reuse the knowledge that we learned uh, while working on ONAP for the CNF testbed initiative. So our key features of the CI dashboard support all of the goals above. First, we aim to be project-centric. The projects are at the front and center at the CI dashboard. We show the passing and failed status badges for the stable and head releases. We can reuse Helm charts for uh, the deployments and the end-to-end -end tests provided by the projects. Next, by collaborating and increasing engagement with the project maintainers, we can add more projects quicker and reduce the level of effort for maintenance by using upstream build status and artifacts. Maintainers can follow the contributing guide to update their project release uh, name and build information and also help provide Helm charts and end-to-end -end tests for the test phase. And third, we show cross-platform testing on a neutral bare metal testing environment. 
We provide configurable test environments, currently supporting two Kubernetes releases with room for more, and two architecture types, x86 and ARM. So we can walk through the history of where we've been and where we're going on the CI dashboard. Here's a review of V1, formerly known as CrossCloud CI. This was released in early 2018, shortly after KubeCon in Austin, Texas. And the first iteration included support for several cloud providers. It showed the status of three pipeline stages, the project build, provisioning Kubernetes, and deploying onto the provision clouds. Some of the lessons we learned with V1 was that we found little difference in how the projects were deployed to uh, the provisioned Kubernetes cluster across the various clouds. We also found that different special interest groups, working groups, and certifications had been started to work on Kubernetes conformance. The dashboard had more clouds than projects, so we decided to change direction. V2 was released in February 2019 with an updated user interface, and the primary focus was to put the projects in front and center. We reduced the number of columns from 11 wide to five. We added a test environment section to support multiple configurations running on the bare metal packet servers. Just last month, V3 was released, and in it, we changed how Kubernetes is provisioned. We were using a custom Kubernetes provisioner called CrossCloud and we decided to switch that out with community tools like KubeSpray and KubeADM. The way the dashboard works is it refreshes daily at 3 a.m. Eastern time. The badges refresh, they show running when the jobs are running, success when the job is passed, and failed if there's an error. For the test environment area at the top of the screen, the CI system provisions each Kubernetes release using containerd as the container runtime onto packet servers. We added ARM support. ARM joined CNCF this year and was announced as a platinum member just this morning. The CI dashboard is a great way to visualize CNCF projects and Kubernetes working on ARM platforms. ARM support has been added to the Kubernetes stable release and the latest commit build and provisioning stages. ARM support was also added to graduated projects, CordianS, Envoy, FluentD, and Prometheus for their build and app deploy stages. Clicking on any of the status badges on CNCFCI will bring you to a GitLab job that shows the status and any error alerts that may have happened. This one shows CordianS stable build for ARM architecture. So on the GitLab, you can see we're on the CordianS project, the architecture showing as ARM64, and it also shows CordianS version 165. So feel free to check it out, cncf.ci. Let's take a look behind the scenes at some of the technologies used for the CI dashboard. The CI-CD platform under CNCF-CI is GitLab. The test environment is provisioned with Terraform and KubeSpray. We use Helm for app deployments and Git and per project YAML configurations for the build and release. The front end is Vue.js and the status repo uses Elixir and Erlang. The provisioning stage, we provision test environments, packet x86 and ARM servers are provisioned using Terraform. The Kubernetes stable and head builds run, and then KubeSpray provisions the clusters onto the packet servers. And then of course the dashboard shows the results. For the build stage, the CI testing system can integrate with external CI systems like Travis CI, as well as generate its own build artifacts internally, which is what we're currently doing for the ARM architecture. The CI testing system creates or retrieves build status and then displays the results under the build column. 
For app deployments on the provision test environments, the CI testing system collects the build artifacts, uses home charts, and then visualizes the deployment status on the dashboard. And for an in-depth look on how we implemented some of these stages and technologies, we'll have a deep dive tomorrow morning at 10.55. So that's an overview of where we've been, and here's what's next on our roadmap. We'll collaborate with Vitesse on adding their newly graduated project to CNCF CI. And we've started the external CI plugin for GitHub Actions to retrieve the build status for projects using GitHub Actions. We'll also resume efforts to use external build artifacts to populate the deploy column and then start adding deploy for Linkerd2, Jaeger, or Vitesse. And we'd like to support stateful URLs for sharing and tracking test results by day and in order to do that, we'll need to start saving history. We'd like to collaborate with the projects on populating the end-to-end -end test column, which is all NA at this time. And we'll add new projects using the GitHub Actions integration, and then start on the third integration, fourth integration. So if you have any ideas of what um, CI system you'd like to see next, please let us know. We definitely welcome your feedback and collaboration. There are several ways that you can get involved. Uh, we're ready to add the graduated and incubating projects on the CrossCloud CI repo. We have uh, repos set up for all the graduated and incubating projects. So please see the contributing guide to get started. We welcome your pull requests or issues if there's any issue or question that you may have. You can also subscribe to the mailing list join the Slack group, and uh, attend the CI working group calls. Upcoming events, tomorrow we have the deep dive with Watson and Denver at 1055 on how to add new projects, going into code review of that. And Taylor and Denver will be presenting on the CNF testbed initiative on Thursday afternoon. And the next CI working group will be the fourth Tuesday of January at 12 noon. Pacific time. You can stay connected with us on GitHub, Twitter, Slack, email, you name it. And I think we have uh, some time for questions with Denver. So please welcome to the stage Denver Williams, co-founder of CNCFCI. <laughs> So Watson's going to run one around with a mic, so if any of you have any questions. Uh, <clears throat> hi, Denver, it's Tamika. Um, quick question. I, I don't know if the, prod the actual products handle this, like the different communities, they handle this, but I didn't see any type of static code analysis or scanning of the code. On a, I don't know if that's a part of this project or is that something that you tell them to do and then you guys would worry about the end result. So uh, with the new integration, we're just interested in the end result. So mm -hmm. they'll configure their integration. And then when their CI jobs are run, we'll go through at 3 AM and check the status of what happened. I have two questions. Uh, one, I want to thank you all for your incredible work. I, this is more a curiosity than like a technical question, but how do you organize all of this and get people to collaborate on it and get funding for it and pay for your infrastructure and stuff like that? So it's a CNCF project, so we've got funding from them. And we've got a working group, the CI working group. So most of it's us reaching out to projects or they reach out to us and then we'll get on a call and then collaborate with them on how to add themselves and help them through it. Cool. And then, good. The, the infrastructure is the CNCF Community Lab, so that's available for any project to use. Unpack it, yeah. Cool. Uh, and then kind of building on that, I have been involved in LFN, LF-related projects that did integration testing with other projects in the past, and 
I've kind of traded projects now. I'm working on more Kubernetes-centric ones, Submariner for networking. It's still like a very new project, but I, I have in the back of my mind in the future that you know this is something that we would eventually love to integrate it with. And I imagine other people have similar questions about how to integrate with you guys. Uh, maybe you could talk to that for a second. I saw some contributing links, but. Yeah, so we've got some contributing links there and they cover, because with the new integration, it's mostly self-service in a way. There are still some steps that we need to do, but if you follow the contributing guide, you can pretty much get most of the way through it and then ping us and then, or if you get stuck. Or come to the deep dive tomorrow. Yeah, come to the deep dive. <laughs> so one of the things that um, we'd like to do and we've been talking internal is making it easier to have the dashboard used for more projects. ONAP specifically has a ton of components and we're just showing a couple of them on here. And really what they need is like a dedicated dashboard. And you could look at that for many projects. And we're planning on ha having one for the CNCFCI infra, like all of the components that are running this and actually be showing that so that people could see the status of those builds. And as part of that effort, which we're planning, I think it'll make it easier if, if there's a project that you say, we'd like this, but it may not fit with, say, the CNCF graduated and incubating, but there could be another dashboard and it ends up using all the same software. And we definitely want to make that more usable for everyone. I think GitLab, they're wanting to make like the base platform more usable and they're interested in talking more. So. Hi, um, this was really amazing. Um, like I know there's a lot that goes on um, in the background. The, I'm very interested in the, uh, in the status repository server because it seems to sort of take in the different projects, um, track what version it is uh, based across, uh, I don't know what the word is. What do you call something where you have a cross section of things and match them? Yeah, yeah, the matrix um, of the different projects. I don't know if this is available for reuse elsewhere, because it sounds like something that would be very useful in a microservice architecture where you have different things being deployed across different staging environments, for example, and being able to see what the status is. Uh, what versions are in different places and so on. Yeah, that's, it's definitely something we always kept in mind when developing it because we always knew we'd end up doing matrix testing, testing the different versions. So the status repository is open source and then it has a lot of logic for tagging or looking at the metadata on the pipelines and going, okay, so it's this job here and it's linked to this other pipeline and cross-linking pipelines. And that's how it can, on the front end, map together what version is being tested and where it sits within the matrix. Okay, uh, where can I find that information? Um, on our GitHub, CrossCloud mm -hmm. CI, there's a repository there that's public for the status repository. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure if you just go to the top level repo, there's links to that as well. Okay, thank you. All right, I think that's us. Thanks for coming. <laughs>